so book talk, bro. Oh yeah, book talk. So I'm gonna take it in a different direction. Um, the talking of books or the listening to the books? The the talking of books. Oh, which direction? Uh, I'm gonna talk about a book series, kind of a, kind of a. I don't normally read. Well, every now and then I get the urge to read books like this, but this is like um. I, I like to refer to them as kind of like the small stories. You know what I mean? Like the it's not about a heroic we're saving the world. It's just people's stories, right? Like it could be said in a fantasy world or in a sci-fi world or something, but they're just kind of slice of life stories in a, in a way, right? And the mm-hmm. small adventures, individuals' adventures instead of like the world-saving adventures, right? And so I want to talk about Like adventures like to the supermarket? Like those type of adventures? Yeah, more or less. Kind of, right? Normal people adventures versus... Saving the world. Not everything has to be about saving the world. Um, I disagree. I'll tell you you're wrong. But continue. (laughs) This is a psalm for the Wild Built Monk and Robot Book 1 by Becky Chambers. Monk and Robot? Monk. As in a monk? Yes, Okay. Um, and so it starts off and you're following this monk. And as you kind of go through the story, you find out, first off, it's on a moon in a different solar system somewhere, right? Revolving around the planet. You know, they've got higher technology and stuff like that. What's unique is at some point in the world, all their automated robots that were working the factories and everything rebelled, revolted got sentience at the same time and then they told the pe- their people that they did and instead of it being a huge like civil war and everything okay. everyone was like okay well what do you want to do and the robots are like well we want to go off into the wilderness and just observe nature and not be disturbed and they're like okay go forth and conquer and the people made an agreement with the robots essentially saying hey I think Bo's out there just to add yeah I okay. saw Bo. So the robots go out. So they made this agreement with the robot saying, hey, you know, whenever you want to come talk to us, you're more than welcome to come talk to us, but we're not going to interfere with you. You know, you can come back to civilization anytime you want. And so it's a different take on the, the robots gaining sentience because all the other ones you hear about are... Evil. Oh, they, they kill everyone right. or the humans are evil and kill the robots or, you know, it's always a war, right? right? So this is a different take on that. Sounds quite interesting. And and the humans are like, well, we're not going to build robots again because we don't know why these gain sentience and we're not going to, you know, ensl- have slave labor again, mm-hmm. even on accident. And so it's, you know, 300 years after this event and... 300 years after sentience? Yes. Okay. And they haven't seen robots. Humans haven't seen robots this entire time. Oh, wow. And they've learned to do without them. Mm -hmm. And they've learned to, you know, work with nature more and kind of integrate, you know. They're they're still, their society is still progressing and all that jazz, right? But they're not, they're not like polluting their planet and stuff. Do they have any kind of? They have a bunch of technology. Okay. You know, they've they've got. They just don't have robots. Yeah, they don't have robots and stuff, right? But, um, so we, we start off and we're following this monk, uh, and I forget their name because I'd have to open the book up, but I, we're following this monk and they're like, they're at, and it's not like they have different, they have multiple different gods instead of like our gods. Okay. So whatever sci-fi world. Um, and this monk is like gets unsatisfied with their life in the monastery. And they're like, well, I want to do a change of career. They're like, I want to go be a tea monk. And essentially what a tea monk is, is they travel around and they set up shop and then they sit down and they serve tea to people as they walk up to them and they just listen to their problems and they have conversations with them. It's like a tattoo artist. (laughs) I mean, more or less, right? It's like just, it's someone for people to talk to and it's a skill. Um, and at some point this monk gets tired of this kind of, and all they want to do is they want to hear crickets and they look up. Yeah. It's a weird thing. Right. And they, because crickets are rare on their world because of whatever. Right. 
So they look up where crickets are and then they go off into the wilderness. And as they're going off into the wilderness, they meet, they run into a robot who was on his way into civilization to meet with humans. Oh, interesting. They're trying to swap. And so it, it goes into their interactions and it goes into, you know, identity and it goes into purposes of life um, and directions and stuff like that. Uh, I think the only beef I have with the story is they they make it very intentional that, you know, because we're talking about identity, so your main character is a they and a them, right? They are okay. not male, they're not female, right? But I don't have an issue with that. What I have an, what I had an issue with, and I'm re- because I was enjoying the story, but I realized partway through, I could not picture the protagonist. Because they had gone so far out of their way to not imply that they looked male or that they looked female that I was struggling to enjoy parts of the story because I kept trying to picture the protagonist and I had nothing. But they the were just visual a was more yeah. like amoeba. So they, they went in the opposite of describing them and, and they anti-described them? Yeah, pr- pretty much. They went out of their way. I mean, they're describing their personality and all that jazz, right? But... I didn't know who I was looking at. Mm -hmm. You know, they would describe other characters. They would describe the robot, but the main character, they were so focused on not giving them a, a, a a gendered identity that they made them a, just a blank spot, a white blank spot in my mind. Whenever I'm trying to picture the protagonist, Mm -hmm. that does make it harder to read. Yeah. And it was very frustrating in that regard. I thought that the read overall was very good, and I really enjoyed the story. Again, I enjoy, every now and then, I enjoy books that are about the small adventures. Yeah. You know, it, it, and they can be in fantastical worlds, and they can be in sci- sci-fi worlds, but sometimes I just want to see, read a story about someone, you know, traveling around and, you know... Your normal Joe do, Schmo. Or- yeah, do, you know... I read another one where they were just traveling around, dropping like, you know, waypoints for faster than light travel, right? Okay. And this is just like a whatever job. Right? I did the hard job getting out there slowly. <laughs> for... Well, but they don't have to get out there slowly. Really? Oh, you're right. They can still do it. They're just dropping waypoints to make yeah, it faster. Yeah, no. It, and so realistically, the job isn't a struggle. They're they're you know merchants and they're freelancers and stuff like that, right? It just but talks about the journey, though. It talks about the journey, mm-hmm. you know. And it's these people aren't saving the world. I mean, I can't imagine it being easy as a writer trying to explain something in a specific genre without putting distinguishers that we've known forever. Yeah, like, well, they look like a person and I mean they just <laughs> didn't describe them at all see that sucks I mean at least say something they're built heavy petite like nothing big small something but yeah they they very much in they very much went out of their way never to you know give them any kind of identity in that regard do you think maybe that was intentional so that way maybe they you could build your own idea of the character yes because it's a robot right no no this one's the human this is the the monk yeah this is the monk okay pearl stop that that definitely makes it interesting i mean it's it's a good read and i thought as far as the language went and and everything it was very well done it's just for me personally, if you don't give me anything, I needed more value. I need, I need something to base their appearance off of. Just yeah. to, the character to, to me other to than to imagine them. Other yeah, than even two like pronouns. hair length, hair color, something. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But robe they, color. It was very clear color. that they were what going wearing. Yeah. yeah. It was very clear that they were going out of their way. I mean, I think they talked about their clothing at some point. Right. But it's like a monk's habit. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Just, a robe. Yeah, something like that. Right. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, if the story's still good, that's awesome. But not being able to attain the visual of the main character. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, do I just... Because that's one of the things I really enjoy about the book I'm reading is 
the way the author goes into detail about the characters. Whoa. I mean, to me, it helps help build the story in a way. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it helps you, you know, play it out in your brain. And when action scenes happen or it gives anything you more happens, visual. yeah. yeah you it can... gives you something to work with. Right. right. Yeah. But that's the thing is like a, a scene would be happening and I would be actively trying to picture the. A white blob. Of they, that, that's negative, what I would pictures. a negative I would pick, space doing would, something yeah i would picture yeah. a blank space yeah you know yeah. or a blurry face or you know it was just maybe it was intended to just make your own character but they should have prefaced it with somewhere uh i mean and maybe other people could picture their own character in their that place but like i don't read books to escape reality in a way to imagine something myself yeah yeah 